All right, time for something new. As we have already seen, when we run our code, the values of all of our variables are outputted in the command window, but what if we don't want to view all of them? We have a way of suppressing the output of our variables. To do this, we simply have to use the semicolon operator at the end of a given line and that will suppress its output. For example, I don't care about the outputs of our conversions, so if I press a semicolon at the end of each of these operators and run it, we don't have any new outputs. We still have the values here, since we haven't given them any names, we have the value under the answer, which is NAN, not a number. We can do the same thing for the rest of our variables like this. And we will get absolutely no outputs in our command window. As you can notice, we have our equation sign underlined here and we have a warning. It says terminate statement with semicolon to suppress output. And when we gave, us, when we gave it the, the semicolons, these warnings are gone. If you want to view the value of a given variable, just type its name in the command window or check it in the workspace. So if I want to view the radius, I just type radius. If I want to view the, the circumference, the circumference, I get the circumference. Use the semicolon at the end of your rows when, you when you're uh, working with variables, equations and stuff like that. Because if you work in a bigger file, in a bigger script and you don't use semicolons, you will get, you will get outputs in the command window from every single line of your code. And when you do this, you will not be able to easily track the values that are of concern to you. So semicolon to the variables that you don't want to view their outputs. And if you want a given value to be out in the command window, just don't use a semicolon. It's that easy.